Earning free money in Crossout is without question a grind. And with so many ways to earn coins in this game, it can be a challenge to know where to start. In this video, I'm going to show you a solid way to make a profit in Crossout, and soon enough, you'll be on your way to making money in no time. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm TCS23 with Crossout Basics, and it's great to be back with you all. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the badge exchange. If you aren't familiar with this part of the game, I have a video linked in the description that covers it in more detail. Now, ever since I made my ultimate guide video, I've been trying to find a better way to break down the complexities of the badge exchange to figure out what items offer the best current profit amounts. And I think I finally figured it out. But before I share my solution with you, it's important to understand what makes the badge exchange so complicated. For starters, you have eight items to choose from, with six of them being resources and two of them crates. Each item offers a different reward as well as their own cost of badge points. The two crates in particular are unique in that you have to decide if you should sell them or open them up in hopes of earning a more valuable item. On top of all this, the badge exchange rotates its inventory amounts every week, and to make matters worse, every single item, including what's in each crate, has a market value that constantly changes. Honestly, it's a lot to keep track of, and it can be quite confusing, especially for new players. So after analyzing the badge exchange extensively and tracking its progress, I came up with what I call the badge exchange optimizer. With this Google Sheet application, not only will it break down and compare the market values of every item in the badge exchange, but with the help of Crossout DB, it can also instantly update these values with the click of a button. Now, admittedly, this quick update feature is only available for PC players, but not to worry, with a little more effort, console players will also be able to make good use of this tool as well. So let me show you how it all works. First of all, you will need a Google account to use this tool for yourself and I've already posted a link to this sheet in the description below. So feel free to pause the video, download it, and we can walk through this together. And just so you know, this application is entirely free to use. Okay, so the first thing you will need to do to access this form is to go up to File, then select Make a Copy. This will bring up a little box telling you that this Google Sheet pulls information from Crossout DB. By the way, if you don't know what Crossout Database is, it's an excellent tool for tracking every item that's listed on the marketplace, so check that out if you're on PC. Now, you can rename the sheet if you want to call it something else, and once you're done, select Make a Copy. After a few seconds, you should see the same document load up in a new tab, but the main difference is that you actually can make changes to this sheet for yourself. If you're not super familiar with programs like Excel or Google Sheets, there are a lot of hidden formulas located within the cells you see here. So try not to make changes to these sections, otherwise the calculations won't work properly. Now, this application has four sheets in total and they all connect to each other in some way. The first sheet is called Badge Exchange, which has the primary information you'll be interested in. The second sheet, Crossout DB, is where the market data gets pulled from. So you really don't need to mess with this one at all. The third sheet is called API Request, and this provides you with written instructions on how to set up the quick refresh option for the badge exchange sheet. Since you're watching this video now, you most likely won't need to reference this tab, but it'll be there in case you need it later. And last but not least is the console version sheet. This is essentially the manual method for getting updated market prices, and I'll explain how to set that up later in the video. So going back to the main page, the first section I created involves the two crates. On the left, you have the Pathfinders, and on the right is the Wanderer's Crate. I also provided an explanation of terms in case anyone needs it, but I'll explain the important ones as I go along. I'll zoom in here to explain more detail. The sell price column here is the current market value of each item within the crate. And as you can see, these numbers are being populated from the Crossout DB sheet. The net value column takes the sell price and adds the market fee of 10%, which is required for selling any item on the market. The green and red boxes indicate whether the item sells for a higher or lower value than the crate itself. 
The net difference column shows you exactly how many coins you would gain or lose compared to selling the crate. The location column is just a reference for where the data is being pulled from. Now here's where it gets interesting. The results section gives you a clear answer for what to do with each crate. Here we can see that currently there are 19 items that sell for a higher value than the Pathfinder's crate itself. This means that out of 25 possible outcomes, you have a 76% chance of picking an item that is worth more than the crate itself. Now, if you watched my previous badge exchange guide, I explained how to do this calculation. And there were several comments that highlighted the importance of knowing not only the probability of picking a valuable item, but more importantly, what is the expected value of these items? In other words, how much more valuable are these items compared to the crate value? And do they offset the cost of items that are worth less? So that's what we have here. This box calculates the predicted average amount of coins you would earn from selling items in this crate. Using this number, along with knowing the buy price of the crate, allows us to populate these answers. So according to these market values, you should not sell the Pathfinder's crate, but instead you should open it and sell the contents. And as for buying the Pathfinder's crate on the market and selling the item inside, that's a good idea too. Below these answers, it shows you exactly how many coins you would gain or lose from choosing the various options. Moving further down, we have the weekly badge exchange rates, which not only includes all four exchange rate variations, but it also shows you how many coins you would get from spending 3,000 badge points on every exchange item, which happens to be the cost of the Pathfinder's crate. Also included is a ranking for these items and the coin difference between them. Now, with all that said and done, it's time to show you how to set up my favorite part of all of this, the quick refresh button. To do this, you need to go to Extensions, Add-ons, and then select Get Add-ons. Using the search box, type in API Connector and make sure to install it. This extension is also free to use, by the way. Close out that window and then go back to Extensions, API Connector, and click Open. On the right hand sidebar, click the blue button that says Create Request, and then look for the Configure API Request box. Under Request URL, type in this information, or you can copy and paste it from the API Request Sheet I mentioned earlier. Then drop down to the Output Settings, and under Destination Sheet, type in Crossout DB with no spaces. For the cell number, type in A1. Finally, under Save and Run Request, label it Crossout DB Refresh. Click Save and then exit out of the sidebar. If everything was done correctly, that should be the last time you need to go through that process. Now all you have to do to get the latest market values is go to Extensions, API Connector, and choose Refresh All Now. In a couple of seconds, you'll now see the most up-to-date market values and recommendations for the badge exchange. For PC players, this is a game changer when it comes to maximizing your profits. But like I said before, console players can still benefit from this chart as well. You will just have to work a little bit harder for it. That brings us to the console version sheet. Again, I've included written instructions on how to do this for yourself, or you can just follow along with me here. I went ahead and highlighted in yellow the areas where market data needs to be filled in. Depending on what you're interested in, you will need to input the sell price of each item in a crate along with the crate's buy and sell prices. For the resource exchange rates, you only need to enter the resource sell prices in this section and everything else will populate accordingly. Now, the best and most efficient way to gather this info is from the badge exchange tab itself. But before you throw your hands up and say this is too much work to do, I have to tell you this is how I actually collected this data for the longest time. It wasn't until recently that I got in contact with the developers of Crossout DB and they helped me to create the market refresh option. With that being said, here's how to gather this info. I like to start with the crates and then move up to the resources afterwards. So the first thing is to gather all the crate item prices. To do this, select the crate you want. Next, move down to where it says possible contents. Then starting with the top left item, hover over it and press triangle or Y button. 
This should give you a pop-up window that shows the buy price and the sell price of the item. What you are interested in is the buy price, which is actually the sell price. I realize that probably sounds confusing, and it is, but I promise you this is the correct way to enter this information. Make note of this number and then enter it into the sell price column. As you go, you will start to see the rest of the chart automatically populate the data for you. Repeat this process until all yellow highlighted boxes are filled and then move down to the next area, which is the crate buy and sell prices. Again, hover over the crate and where it says buy price, this is the sell price, and the sell price is the buy price. This data was actually taken from my PS4 on the 8th of March 2023. So if these numbers stayed relatively the same, you can trade in 3000 badge points for a Pathfinder's crate, open it up, and sell its contents for an average profit of 676 coins, which is about 19 coins more profit than selling the crate itself. Or if you have the initial investment, you can buy the Pathfinder's crate from the market, open it up, and sell its contents for an average profit of around 69 coins. Lastly, if you want to know the best overall exchange rates for each resource, you'll need to enter that info here. Since you already have the two crate sell prices, you can re-enter those prices. And now all you need are the remaining resource sell prices. Again, hover over the image, find the buy price number, and enter it into the sell price column. Oh, and I almost forgot. For batteries and electronics specifically, you will need to take an extra step. Select the image and choose Trade and Parameters. By default, the market value of these resources is based on 10 units, but you need to change this to 100 units, and then make note of the left side starting price. Once that is completed, the chart will automatically populate the rest of the data and you are now optimized for the badge exchange. And that's it. Well, I really hope you enjoy using this tool, which has been in the works for well over a year now. If you do try it out, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and for everyone who's made it this far and you're on PC, here's some free codes for a premium subscription and an in-game portrait. Other than that, I'll see you here next time on Crossout Basics.